Man, we out here at the delivery. Getting to it early. Man, hit a dirt this morning, bro. Sent his ass to Jesus house, y'all. Fucked up my panel. Glad they ain't fucked up my truck, though. But uh, I smacked the hell out that motherfucker. That's what we got going today. Yo, 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 what's poppin', what's poppin', it's your boy Cam the Trucker checking in, man, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit for your boy, man, I'm at the delivery early morning type shit, type shit, type shit, so I'm at the delivery, it's a couple trucks behind me or whatever, I'm the second truck here, it's cool, man, we really doing it, man, we gonna try to do two loads, waiting on these people, bro, they supposed to open up at six, he was like, they waiting on some guy, he got the key to the, to the lift and all this crazy shit, so they supposed to open up at six, it's eight o'clock, well, 7.35, 7.45, almost 8 o'clock. It's crazy, man. So, I'm up here waiting. I'm going to go pick up a load, bring it back down, and then I'm done for the day. I'm going to go back up and pick another load up for tomorrow. So, that's what we on right now, man. Everything good, everything good, man. So, man, I'm riding the deck this morning, man. I see something in the street. It looked like a fox. I'm telling you, man. I'm in the, I'm in the middle of nowhere in Texas. You know, close down here towards the border. It looked like a fox. I'm like, ah, oh, damn. So I look at it, I'm like, all right, it's a dirt, but it's in the left lane. It's out my way. The dumbass dirt try to run back. You feel me? So guess what I do? I kept on rolling shit. Hey, I, I, what I'm finna do, swerve? Nah, I ain't finna do that. I just speeded that motherfucker up. It was gonna be the hardest hit that dirt ever would have fucking felt. So I hit the damn dirt. The, the dirt hit the side of my truck, knocked my little fender thing off, as y'all seen in the beginning of the video. I ain't even tripping, man. You know, as long as the front of my truck ain't fucked up, everything ain't working. So uh, that's what we got going on today, man. We just doing it, man. So um, shout out to everybody getting it, bro. Man, what I've been seeing on YouTube a lot, man, a lot of new truck drivers been getting into the industry, bro, and starting out leasing, bro. Leasing with no experience in trucking is the most craziest shit I'd have ever heard before. Granted, I didn't need it. You feel me? So I'm speaking from experience, driver. You know? So uh all new truck drivers, man, if you out here, man, and you, you don't got no experience, bro, don't hop into no lease purchase, bro. This shit is a grown man business. You don't know enough to be leasing no truck. Everybody ready to be an owner operator or think they ready to be an owner operator because I was the same way. I'm like, man, I ain't, uh, man, I'm new in trucking, bro. I got this shit. This shit really easy. Yeah. I got into a lease purchase with no experience. I didn't make no money for three months. Moral of that story. So if you want to be like Cam the Trucker, go take your ass on out there and lease. You got companies that will take you with no experience to lease that truck. They will take you. They want you to fail, bro. You don't know enough about the trucking industry, the lanes, the race, what you should be hauling it for, all this shit like that. Like, my first time leasing a truck, I had no experience. I jumped straight out of CDL school and went to Trans Am. Biggest mistake I ever made, you know. But we bounced back from that. I went to Hogan, stayed down as a company driver, and I made it shake. You know what I'm saying? So, man, get your experience. Me, personally, I think you should at least have a year uh, of experience, and then you hop into a lease. But leasing a truck with no experience is crazy. You know, and if you with a company or if you got a company that will take you uh, with no experience and be like, man, come on and lease a truck, come on and lease a truck, they setting you up for failure. You know, I'm just going to tell y'all what God loves, driver, you know, because you don't really know a lot about the game, bro. You don't really know. It's really a dog dog world in these lease purchase shit. So don't fuck your uh, trucking career up trying to go lease a truck and then you don't make no money. Then now your whole trucking, um, your whole trucking situation is bad like your whole outlook on trucking is bad bro that's why most of these guys be like man fuck trucking man i'm tired of this shit x y and z because they done did some dumb shit like starting out leasing you know with no experience i did it bro but i had that dog and that go-getter in me to be like all right I, I i fucked up i failed at that uh when i ain't had no experience now i gotta move on i can't just stop stick and stay you know it was a bad experience with trans am i ain't make no money for three months i was willing to stick it out man you feel me? And that was the crazy part about the shit. If I knew what I knew then that I know now, I would have never leased the truck, you know? But they hit me with all this owner-operator shit, and that's what these companies are gonna do. Take you with no experience, hit you with all this. You can be your own boss. You can make this. You can make 3000 2000 and all this shit like that, and then it never comes to fruition, you know? 
So I just want to give y'all some uh, knowledge this morning. Let everybody know what's going on um, out here, man. We just getting it, man. We just getting it. Life good, life great. I'm going to drop a settlement video tomorrow in, uh, or Friday, however we go. And uh, we're going to get to it, man. So take my advice, drivers. All new truck drivers, do not lease a truck if you ain't got no experience. You know, now, if you got experience, go ahead and lease and do your thing. Just get in the right lease. But if you ain't got experience, don't even do it. Take it from a guy who really did it, bro. I did it. That shit didn't work out for me, man. I think in three months, I made $300, bro. I can't make it up to you, man. So I'm telling y'all from experience. But uh, I love y'all, man. Y'all my people, man. I'm going to drop another video, man. I'm going to keep coming to it back to back to back to back to back. And we're going to do it like that.